welcome to the first ever video of incarnation sit back relax and enjoy This right here is my Jera, uh, Pavaka Jera MK3, 1.8 carbureted. So let's quickly do a rundown around the car. Um, first of all, I've owned this car for months now. Yeah, I will show a video, a photo right here of my previous car, the car I owned before this one. Um, the reason I bought this car was for um, ah, stance purposes, as y'all know. Uh, in the stance community, the dubs are quite popular, and I didn't want to go with a uh, MK1, a Golf, which I, I, I pr probably might, that might be my next uh, uh, project after this one. Yeah, the reason for it being like this is because I did, I did a gearbox swap on the car. Um, excuse me, I, I have a bit of a flu. Okay, um, I did a gearbox swap on the car. Um. After months of owning this car, or oh, the, the time I bought this car, we discovered that the uh, the um, first gear was struggling. The gearbox was struggling into first gear, but um, it was a once-off thing, or every once in a while kind of thing. So, um, yeah, we drove it like that, and after months, finally gave in. So, this I thought this was the initial plan, to buy myself a new gearbox. Um, so, uh, I considered buying an FFZ box. But unfortunately, that wasn't part of the the budget right now. But yeah, this is the old box. This is the old one right here, and the new one is already being installed. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, take videos. I did it off camera due to it was raining the whole day, the whole two days because uh, the day before yesterday I stripped. And yesterday we installed me and my little brother. Sorry, we installed the gearbox. So yeah, let's do the rundown around the car. Um, as y'all can see, here is my 1.8 uh, carbureted. Yeah, in the future, I might do a fuel injection conversion. I do have uh, the fuel injection top and the intake and the uh, other other parts, but I, I just need a short loom. So if any of you need, uh, know someone who can hook me up with one, or maybe a original uh, Jetta 3 or Golf 3 loom, I would appreciate that. So yeah, let's do the rundown. It's currently on jack stand, so uh, due to the fact that I swapped out the the the, the um the gearbox, so I put myself a pair a set of BBS on the car. The car came with some huge seventeen inch rims. Um, I put myself the 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 spoiler on because unfortunately the car came without one. I did uh, the swap on the tail lights because the car initially came out with a uh, orange, with the orange uh, indicator lights. So yeah, I blacked out the VW seeker because, as y'all can see, look at that beauty, uh, that beauty right there, a nice booty pick for you guys. So yeah, there is a uh, oh, I put mud flaps on the car as well. Um, the car came without beatings, without this this beatings right here, the strips. As we call it, so I, I I searched after a few months of searching for these. I finally got it from another car, so I I put this on, and yeah, that that was kind of it. Oh, yeah, that was it for the exterior. That was the few modifications I did on the exterior. Let's go to the interior. So the first thing, as y'all will notice, if you once you enter the car, um, for a nineteen ninety eight Jetta, this looks different, different because. I swapped this out with a newer model, uh, with a newer model uh, that actually came with this one. So this this cluster is from a newer model. Like you can see, the lettering is in italic and it has the silver finishing off because I kind of like this one. Yeah, and for the interior, I swapped out uh, the seats. The car came with with um, uh, I think you call it the VR6 seats, the leather seats. Uh, the car came out with it. Sorry for the car being dirty because uh, uh, it was standing for a, a whole while. Yeah, like I said, the car came with VR6 seats, but unfortunately, I, I, I had to take it out because the, the driver's side uh, seat, this, this, this piece right here was 
was cute. It was bent, and the the seeds didn't want to move. I think it was welded. I think it was welded. Yeah, uh, it was welded, so it couldn't move for, like this. That's why I put this uh, in. Uh, I still need to do the roof lining. Like y'all know, the the German cars tend to do that. Uh, the, the roof lining tend to drop, so I still need to do that. Um, at the back, as y'all can see, the seat is quite neat. It's only that that piece right there. That is not a big problem, but yeah, we might do that in the future. And if if y'all notice, the car the car door covers is not matching. I bought it like this. I bought it like this, and it will soon be fixed. Or it will soon be replaced. Don't know when, but I will. I will definitely do it because it's kind of a sore eye watching it. So yeah, that that's it for the interior. Um, yeah, I put on a twin uh, tailpiece. As y'all can see, see there. The car has a, a branch on. I don't know what. I don't know what specific branch it is. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see here, or you can't see, but yeah, the car has a branch on it, has a full power flow uh, pipe exhaust on it. Uh, I bought it like that, and I will, after the video, I'll put a clip in how it sounds. The car definitely sounds very good. So yeah, the new gearbox we have in the, oh, excuse me for my nose, it's running. Like I said, I flew, sorry. Okay, yeah. The gearbox I have in the car right now, it's already been fitted, like I told you. It's a DGG. So if y'all can, uh, in the comment section, put down the specs or the ratios or the, the power, the kilowatt whatsoever it, it puts out. If y'all can put it in the comment section, I would appreciate it because I'm not, I'm not sure how much power this one uh, would provide with a 1.8 uh, engine. But yeah, that's it in the engine bay. Sorry, I've, I've, uh, I bought myself a VR6 lip. Here's the, the one piece. And as you can see there, oh, there in the back, yeah, you can't see. But the other piece is, is laying right there. Reason for it being removed is, reason for it being removed is because uh, we fitted the gearbox. So, yeah. Um, I do, like I mentioned, I do have the, the old parts. Or I do have the other parts for the conversion uh, at the back um, so yeah I swapped out the I swapped out the grill I've put it I've put this white one on also from the the newest the newer model Cheddar put it this on because I like the the white girl with a black uh, and white bumper I I prefer this look some people uh, change this out on the newer models some people change this out for, for the black girl, but yeah, we, we all have our, we all have different likings when it comes to this kind of stuff. So yeah, this is my Chera 3. It's my daily, it's my project. I've did, I've did a few, few other stuff. Oh, I, I had to, I had to change few other stuff out uh, when I purchased the car. So, uh, first things first, we, we bought the car in, in, in Cape Town. Um, when I got at home, we, need, we needed to, to buy a new carburetor. Because the old one, I will put a photo right here. The old one was giving us problems. Excuse me. Old one was giving us problems. So, when we got home, that was the first thing, first thing I had to do. So, after doing that, um, the car, yeah... Every time we, we, we put the timing in the correct order, or, uh, the, the correct, you can, oh, sorry, every time we put the timing in correctly, the, the car seems to be idling fine for the first couple of minutes, and after that, we just misfiring and all of the, that. So the reason being, we discovered that the, the order, let me show you, the, the, uh, the pulley right there, that one right there, that pulley was the problem. So the sprocket on the crankshaft, I believe, it has a key which which locks into the crankshaft. So that key was broke off. So every time the car idles or the car runs, the timing is getting bigger. Dear my car. So yeah, <laughs> sorry now for that base English. So yeah, 
So we fixed that. And after that, uh, the car was, was actually quite fine. And then uh, we, we discovered, yo, it was a lot of stuff in this car. But like I said, it was a project and I bought it like that. So my aim is to just make it better. After that, I had some issues with the starter. So after buying three new starters, this one right here is the, the, it's the current, oh, it's the fourth one. The current one in the car is the, let me show you, is the fourth starter on the car. Um, the, the car tend to broke the starters. I don't know. Uh, or I didn't, at first I didn't know what was the problem. So I went to a mechanic and he told me, no, check out if your ring gear, I think, I don't know what's the right terminology. You can just comment it down below, but check, check out if your ring gear is still fine, the tooth on the ring gear. So I took off the gearbox and uh, buy a new ring gear, put it on. And after that, it, it actually went well. Oh, the, 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 the starter never gave problems again. So yeah, when that fi issues, issue was fixed, we had some issues with the firing of the car. So as you can see, the nice red, red, eh, red coil right there. That's a new coil. Also bought a new coil, and the car tend to to uh, lose fire. Or the fire tend to uh, get missing somewhere along the way. So the car at the, the at, at some point it would start. At some point it's not. So after that. We purchased the new uh, distributor. So, uh, yeah, when we put, purchased the new distributor, the car was, was fine after that. And then uh, two months, we had, we had some problems with a black box. The, uh, the Volkswagen and the Golf uh, guys will know what, what I'm referring to when I, I tell them the black box. So it's, we had some issues with that. And yeah... Like you'll know with a, with a project, it always goes like this. There's, there's always something. So once I fixed everything, I believed I fixed everything, the car broke again in a few months, months' time. So this time, actually, we had a bearing knock on the car on my way to Bridgetown. Oh, I was driving 40 kilometers away, uh, 30 minutes drive. The car had a, 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 a knock. A bearing knock, so I had to purchase myself a new engine once again. So as y'all can see, this one right here is the new engine. I bought it from a great friend of mine, also driving the same car, but he has the, the two liter in his car. So yeah, I, I purchased his old engine that came out of his 1.8. And yeah, let me show you how big of a hole it was on my old block. Old block, and this is the hole. This is on the number one cylinder. That's the hole right there. And look how big it is. So that is the old block. And this side we have my intake manifold. Uh, my intake gas and my top. So this is for the uh, fuel injection conversion right there. Uh, we are here dropping the, the gearbox. The currently the car, new one. Once again because um, the cups, the CV cups, on that one are too small, so we need to replace them with these ones, the old ones that was on the old gearbox. So we are currently busy with that. Uh, I will put you on a quick time lapse while we are busy with that. Install the gearbox once again, and this was our problem right here because this couldn't fit over here, so over the, the inner series. So we had to take take the old ones off from the, the from the old box and install it on the new box. So we are just finishing up here, 
and then we are we are ready to to take the car off the check stands so officially off on the ground lap is on there we go quick start up for you guys for the first time Almost like I said, it's carburetor, so we don't take it. There we go. The butt cold. Yeah, but I max was his coat. Here's a bitch.